Thanks to your incredible support, the Victoria Foundation's Rapid Relief Fund has grown to nearly $6 million. And as quickly as that money comes in, it's distributed to charities in need. Veronica Cooper introduces us to one of those very grateful organizations. This pandemic has been really challenging. It's, it's pretty scary for seniors. Lori McLeod is executive director of the Elder Care Foundation. With just two and a half staff members, it's a small but vital nonprofit. The Elder Care Foundation is a registered charity and we raise money to support uh, seniors both in long-term care and in community. We support six long-term care facilities with 700 residents um, and we also support community programs for seniors to help them stay in their own homes longer. Things like adult day programs, community bathing program, a respite hotel, an education wellness center, as well as our Safe Lifeline program which provides a medical alarm service for seniors who are at risk to keep them safely at home. And with no government funding, the Elder Care Foundation is grateful for your support. This community is absolutely amazing. We received a $14,000 grant from the Victoria Foundation's Rapid Relief Fund, which was amazing. That allowed us to clear our wait list for our Safe Lifeline program. We also had Scotiabank step up with $10,000, and we've already started purchasing all the things to help our long-term care residents stay connected, some phones and some more tablets, so that the staff can facilitate video uh, visits with, with, um, with the families. That connection is crucial. Especially because we have a lot of folks who have some form of dementia, so they just don't understand why they can't have their activities anymore, why there's no more entertainment coming in, why their loved ones, their families, their friends can't come and visit them anymore. music therapist who can't come into the facilities anymore did a special little um, video so that they can still have their music therapy sessions because it's just so important. Elder care is not an accumulating charity. Donations are spent as quickly as they're received and that concerns McLeod going forward. We're also a little bit worried about small charities like ours because there's only so much capacity for people to give. We've even seen one of the granting foundations that we usually get specialized equipment from and they've said, well, we're not going to be doing our regular granting stream right now because we're busy with the COVID. Learn more about the Greater Victoria Elder Care Foundation at gvef.org. The seniors are the ones who have built this society and they've given so much and we just want to make sure that they can live out their lives with the dignity and the respect that they deserve. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.